Hello. So, King's Fall came out, and the Tomb Ship Jump Puzzle, everyone still manages to suck absolute balls at it. Um, 9 out of 10 people. And so, there was a little bit of discovery in back and forth about being able to skip, like, a large majority, sorry, that was my foot, a large majority, if not all of the jump puzzle. Well, it turns out, hey, well, if you have Heat Rises and you use a Well Skate, you can do it pretty easily on Warlock. Uh, however, there became the problem of you still have to do the pads, so you still needed people to make it across. And then eventually it was discovered that, hey, you can get over the loading zone trigger so that the gate, like that whole like green gate thing at the very end of the jump puzzle just doesn't exist anymore. And I was like, okay. And then people were like, well, well, it sucks you can't do it on Hunter since you could, you know, sword fly a good chunk of it on Titan. Well, and then it turns out, yeah, you can do it on Hunter if you mix triple jump with blink. And then it was like, oh man, well it sucks that we can't, like, we don't know how to, you know, do the loading zone skip or the plate skip. Well, and then it turns out, I did some testing here uh, on stream for several hours, and then it turns out, well, yeah, that's actually possible too. I uh, can't really say I take credit for this, since it's more of an amalgamation, but... Uh, an amalgamation of, like, efforts. But this is definitely, I'm the first person that I've seen do this specific instance of it. Um, and I kind of don't really care about taking credit for this since it's such a trivial thing, but, um, yeah, as you can see, that's it right there. And so I'm going to give a little tutorial. And I would like to point out this is for both Warlock and Hunter, so it's not going to be a one-class willy. Alright, so to start off on the Warlock one, since the Hunter one's got a little bit more tech behind it, it's really simple, you're just going to need your grenade, your Well of Radiance, and you need sword ammo. So right off the bat, you're going to hop on the ship, pull your sword out, or you can do an emote to see whenever the ship's going to despawn. I just prefer to pull the sword out so that I can just, you know, do the quick switch of the sword whenever I'm ready for it. Uh, it's for the eager edge. And just stand kind of near it, you know, set up for a standard well skate. You're going to aim for right around this spot here. And right when the ship's going to despawn, you're going to do well skate, glide, drop your glide, use your heat rises, Get your double pop in for your double Icarus dash. And this is a pretty slow execution of this. And you're gonna land right on this like segment of bone here. So to shorten that one up a little bit, Will of Radiance, glide out of your Will of Radiance, pop your heat rises, drop your glide as soon as your heat rises happens, do two Icarus dash boosts, so you know, boost Icarus dash, boost Icarus dash, Drop your glide and pump your glide, so that's just like tapping it like this. You want to spend less time glide, like in your active glide than you do free falling. And this is because you'll lose a lot of momentum if you don't do that. And obviously you're not going to make that gap if you don't do that. And after that, like that's the easy part. Once you hit that bone area, you've pretty much skipped the load trigger. Uh, you don't want to drop down anywhere near here because it'll activate the load trigger. Even if you like shoot these aliens here, it's not going to do anything. And from here, you just well skate over to the to the jump spot. Pretty easy stuff. The uh, Warlock one's got almost 100% consistency, if not 100% consistency. And as you can see, we're here. Uh, this one's pretty damn easy. And yeah, there's no particular timing or setup for it. It's just whenever you feel like uh, you're comfortable. Obviously, you're going to want to do it after the ship starts de de uh, despawning, and that's about it. There's, like I said, no specific timing for it. All right, for this Hunter one, it's gonna be a little bit more technical. There's a lot more lineups because this is a much more precise thing. But obviously you're just gonna need Eager Edge Sword Ammo and you're gonna need Shatter Dive Unlocked. Uh, I prefer to have a Sniper because it makes lining up some of these angles a lot easier. But we'll, uh, we'll begin here. So I like to stand right on the corner here and wait for this ship to despawn. When the ship starts despawning, you'll see this little patch of a square. That's what I aim for, you'll see. I'll show a freeze frame. And as soon as I see that, I do my shatter dive, I do two very late jumps, and then I slash or shatter dive onto this edge. That's the easy part. The hard part is you're going to want to line up slightly where this light is, but a little bit to the left, and you're gonna wanna aim up a bit, almost like right here. And the reason for this is because what we need to do is we need to do a shatter skate into a blink, a double blink, and we need to sort cancel as well so that we don't whack ourselves on the wall and die. So the exact same setup is where we're going to land on this like patch of bone with the light. 
And so what that's gonna look like is two pretty early on jumps, not like a, you know, not like a jump jump, but like a jump jump, almost like before you hit uh, your maximum jump off of your second jump, you like the maximum height, so that you have time to switch to blink, get two blinks out, and sword slash. On top of this, you're going to need to look up into the air while you do your blinks for the sole purpose of maintaining your height. And when you look up or down, you gain less or more height whenever you blink. And so that's going to look a little bit something like this. So once you do that, again with your double blink, slashing to stop your momentum so you don't die from impact or you don't die from hitting the wall, it's the exact same setup where you're going to walk along the edge. And if no one touched this little loading zone, the wall is not there. You can, of course, do this on just doing the ship method, where it spawns these plates and is better for speedruns. Uh, since people don't have to back out and rejoin and all that stuff, you don't have to deal with loading times, uh, amongst other reasons. And from here, you just shatter drive across, and that's pretty much it. There's not much to it. And you go up, and that's it. You're in the raid. So I thought about it, and... I thought that it's not necessarily fair for me to only show how to do the plate skip setup because there's a lot of people who aren't going to be adept enough uh, or maybe very new to this technique and want to, you know, make their raid not take 500 years uh, when dealing with this jump puzzle. So I'll show off how to do it in like just the normal like ship skip, up, uh, ship skip setup. And this one's pretty easy. It's just where you land right here. And obviously I'm going to start it on Hunter and I'll go on Warlock after this. It's quite a similar setup, except you're just, like, you're, your frame of leniency is a lot easier, and you just jump off the ship when it despawns. And as you can see, that's a lot more consistent than it is doing the other one. You notice that I looked straight up into the air as best I could when I uh, when I went for my blinks. Unfortunately, what this will do, and you'll see the side effect of this, is this actually activates the barrier now. And you can see that, unfortunately, like you need two players to do the plates. The door is closed regardless, so don't like worry about the chest. It's never going to be there anyways. Or it'll be there, but like you have to do the thing. And yeah, unfortunately, this you know is a downside to this. The Hunter one is a little bit harder, but they're both doable on console uh, or controller or whatever. I know pause loading times can be kind of unforgiving, so this one might not be super doable for console players. Uh, I can't comment. I don't play on console. But yeah, I'll, I'll get to the Warlock cut now. Alright, jumping ahead to the Warlock cut here. You can see I've got my super, I've got my grenade, I've got my sword ammo, all good to go. So this one's quite simple, really. Uh, the timing for this is, like, comically forgiving. Uh, I, I I don't even... I, I'm almost certain that you could make it from the ship starting position, just because of how much leniency you get. If you feel like you suck at this, you could also do it from the checkpoint spot. But anyway, ship's despawning. Gonna do our well skate, glide, pop our heat lives, double dash, and just pump it. Right, let's pump our glide so that we maintain a velocity and momentum and I mean like I'm still going here like I, I dare argue that you could probably make it you could skip this entire subsection and make it all the way to the end um but yeah it's it's pretty easy with the warlock like just going from A to B so I I even like I'm willing to bargain that it's probably like you fair to expect people to expect people to start doing this like I expect people to expect people to start doing these skips and stuff like that uh, I'm not saying that you know one player should be forced to play any specific type of way but you know other players feel that way so keep that in mind <laughs> 